I am Josh from Apt, and we've got the new 2015 21.5 inch iMac. And Apple's made some big updates here. We are going to Broadwell, fifth generation from the previous fourth generation processor. If you're hoping for a Skylake 6th gen, you might be looking for a 27 inch iMac. So keep that in mind, but we got some great updates. Let's see what we got in the box. Apple, they are masters at this, so they make it real easy. Get a little pull tab there. Top comes up. And right in the front here, you've got a little box. You're going to want to make sure to pull that out. You do not want to throw that piece away. I'm going to take this iMac out. All right, there's nothing left in the box, so we're going to ditch the box. All right, your iMac is housed with a few pieces of styrofoam. They just pull right off. One of them has an empty hole. And one of them has your power cable. Pretty critical that you don't throw that away. So there's the power cable that'll attach to the back of your new iMac. And again, if you weren't paying attention, the front has that groove. All right, so if you tuned in a few seconds after, make sure you pull out this very special box. Otherwise, your computer has a couple uh, protectors on it. All you're going to do is pull this off. I'd probably keep that just in case you need to transport it for service. Hopefully that doesn't happen. You'll have to pull this guy off to pull that sticker. It goes all the way around the bottom of your iMac, and then the other piece just kind of pulls off and and rips off. That's going to be garbage. So you've got your new 21 inch iMac. You can plug it into the power. All right. So this is really important because Apple's launched some new products here besides the computer. We have a new keyboard, the Magic Keyboard from Apple. And the new Magic Keyboard is equally special here with the mouse because they both are going to utilize Thunderbolt, I'm sorry, Lightning, the connector here on both devices, and that's going to allow you to charge up these devices. No more disposable batteries. The mouse used to have this little piece that would pop out and you got two double A's. The keyboard had a kind of a round end on the, on the back here that had took two double A's, and we're place, replacing them out several times a year. Now you're just going to plug it in with a Lightning cable. Your Lightning cable is going to attach to either device to charge it up. Uh, if you're running out of battery, just a couple minutes is going to give you nine hours of time to work on your devices. If uh, you let it sit and charge for two hours, you're good for over a month. Well, a month or more, Apple says. All right, so that's pretty much all we have except for this little book. And inside the pamphlet, we've got a few goodies. We've got a little quick start guide from Apple. And this is, again, just going to break down the basics, show you kind of what the ports are on the back, uh, probably talk to you here about your mouse and your keyboard charging options and little things like that. So take a peek. There's really not a big, robust manual when you get a computer these days. You've got some iMac info, some legalities you could read through, your Apple stickers, and a microfiber cloth that you're just going to use to to clean your iMac screen, which by the way, avoid using any kind of chemicals unless you have like a screen cleaner. I know that we sell a screen cleaner at app.com for TVs or computers, that's safe. Water's also safe. The key is a microfiber cloth. You don't want anything with static brushing against your computer screens. So that's everything we've got in the new 21.5 inch iMac that's been launched in 2015. Check out app.com. We're going to have a bunch of configurations on our website available for you. And again, if you wanted a different storage device, you want to upgrade your RAM, 21.5 inch models, you cannot upgrade RAM later. So if you want that 16 gigabyte upgrade, keep an eye out on app.com. If there's a configuration you don't see, or you want to mix and match things, like you can get the trackpad instead of the mouse for a $50 increase, uh, we can configure whatever you want. Just contact our guys at Apt. We've got a whole department dedicated for Apple sales. We've even got support to at Apt because we're an authorized Apple service center. Thanks for watching. Let's hear some comments. What will be your dream 21.5 inch iMac configuration?